Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Azini Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to the channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay guys, so Christy O. <laughs> well, Christy O decided to think out loud and this her thinking out loud has got hey our South African brothers and sisters angry. Yes guys, so what did Christy O say that has been shaking Twitter? Hmm. So um Christy O tweeted this, no offense but don't they have good makeup artists and photographers in South Africa like in Nigeria even if you consider yourself the ugliest our uh, makeup artists and photographers will do a good job enhancing your beauty hashtag #thinking out loud <laughs> Oh, well, Christy, my darling. Now, there's a reason why they say there are some certain things that should be left unsaid. But even if they are to be left unsaid, some of us go still talk calm and you said decide to say the thing. Okay, so um, she's been dragged on Twitter. <laughs> like, I don't think I've seen Christy O have that much engagement. Over a thousand quotes on her tweets. Ah, and none of them, just a few, maybe 10 or 20 of them are good. The rest are insults upon insults upon insults. A lot of them are saying, oh, she, um, Crystal is not even beautiful. That, you know, a lot of, honestly, a lot of courses fans are there. Yeah, you know, I'm going to say it because if you go there, you will see it. It's not easy to making things up. This is actually what happened. A lot of courses fans are there insulting her and all that. Now, what do I think or what do I make out of all this? Number one, whenever somebody starts a phrase or a statement by telling you um, no offense or um was that um with all due respect <laughs> just be expressing the opposite because the person is about to insult you yes and that is what christy o said Chris O definitely did drag the whole country here not just the whole country like she dragged the makeup artists and the photographers in south africa i mean judging by what she has seen that, I mean, even though it's a question, it's still a drag. There's still a drag there. And we all know, we're not going to lie. We all know who this drag is for. We all know who has this shade. Even though Christy O did not come out in the open, which I would have preferred her to do than to drag the whole country, you know, even though she did not come out, you know, straight, we all understand. In fact, even the people, the base that had the shade, collected the shade because now them fool the quotes yes guys that i mean yeah we are not even going to we are going to call it spade a spade i beg because i'm not here to sugarcoat nothing i'm going to say it as it is now that being said this tweet is not really okay oh, if you ask me i would have preferred she'd be like okay you know some of these bb titan you know housemate don't you people have a good glam team that would have narrowed it down, right? But saying the whole South Africa, <laughs> nah, that's mean. That's that's mean. But let's 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 you know after condemning what Chrissy O said. But honestly, the people that have been catching the sub, closest fans, I'm gonna call you out. Yeah, weren't you the same people that were complaining about this same thing in your group chats? I mean, I remember the first picture, you know, Kosi posted and I literally had to do a video to let you guys know you people should give Kosi time. She's evolving. I mean, look at the picture she posted today. It's better than the one she posted before. A lot of you guys were like, no, the glam team. No, 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 no. The makeup artist. You people were saying this. Now, somebody else has gotten the courage to say it even though she did not say it the right way i am not supporting what she said the way she said it but she put out an emotion that a lot of you have been hiding in your group chat attacking the handler that even kosi's handler had to come out and rant about how you guys have been coming at her yeah so 
what is this selective hypocrisy? You know, this is one thing I don't like. If you're going to call black, black in the closet, call black, black in the open, simple. But I also get it's about fandom. You want to defend your faith and all that. But then again, you people are also hypocrites because you people in your group chats are saying the same thing that she has come out to say, even though I honestly do not think that she should have said it that way. She should have narrowed it down to Big Brother, Titan, Housemate. At least we would have dealt with that a different way. Yes, guys. Now, again... <laughs> I honestly don't think it's about South African makeup artists or South African um, photographers. And I'm going to use instances for you. Look at this um, Yaya's picture. This is the picture she took before Big Brother, which is obviously in South Africa. And this is the picture she took here in Nigeria. Do you not see that the one she did in South Africa is actually preferable? Because the one she did here is actually very over-edited. Like, it's not looking like Yaya. Yeah, yeah. And I'm just putting this out here for you guys to know it's not about South African um, photographers or for South African makeup artists. It's actually about the individual makeup artist. The individual photographer. If your faves picture is not coming out good, even we have that, we have, we've had that scenario happening here in Nigeria that we're even complaining that, oh, this person should change their makeup artist. I mean, we had that situation with Angel at some point, change your makeup artist because this one does not understand your facial features and all that. You know, it happens. It's not about the whole of, you know, um, South African makeup artist or the whole of Nigerian makeup artist. Also, looking at Blue Ava too. Did you see the difference between Blue Ava's makeup in Nigeria and the one she had in South Africa? Yeah, the one in Nigeria is better than the one in South. Meanwhile, in Yaya's case, the one in South is better than the one in Nigeria. What does that tell you? It's about the individual. Yes, because makeup artistry is it's a huge segment on its own. Some people will work well with you. Some people will not work well with you. I am a living witness. Some makeup artists do makeup uh, like they spoil my face for me. And then I come out looking like what I do not know. Some photographers will over edit you that you even be looking for yourself. So I think in all this... This is a time for you as a fan, VVIP, VVV, whatever, go back to the drawing board. If you feel attacked that your fave is the one being called out here, which we know is the truth, that it's actually a shade to cosy. We are not even going to lie. Then I think, you know, maybe change the glam team. But honestly, I don't think that South African makeup artists in general are bad. I don't think that South African photographers are bad. I've seen beautiful pictures from South African actors and actresses. And I'm not talking about Big Brother now. I'm talking about the mainstream entertainment industry. They've been looking good. So, I mean, it cannot be a South African problem. It's an individual makeup artist problem. Yes. Yeah, so they are dragging Christy O at the moment. Does she deserve the drag? Yes. <laughs> She deserves the drag so that next time you don't go, you know, f dragging a whole country. How bad now? It's just like somebody coming out and say, oh, these Nigerians, you know how we will react. Nigerians will react. Normally, we will react. So what is good for the goods should be good for the Ganda. If you are coming from their country, they will come for you. That's what I think about this whole situation. Feel free to let me know what you think about it in the comment section. For me, I feel like dragging a whole country to it is wrong. You know, but some makeup artists need to do better. Let's just, you know, say the truth. Call it spade a spade. I just feel like some glam team of some of our faves, your faves needs to be changed for the better. And I mean, there's always room for growth. We've seen it before in other big brothers, how, you know, their style evolved as time went on. And I'm sure it will happen to, you know, some of your face too. That's what I think about this whole situation. Feel free to let me know what you think about it in the comment section. On that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to all of you for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, what exactly are you waiting for? Can you click on the subscription button? Button, click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Azine Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.